What's going on guys? Welcome back. Hope you are doing well. In our last video, we went over how to create a text component and how to apply modifiers to that text component to customize it. In this video, we are going to get started with how to create shapes in Swift UI. So examples of those might be circles, rectangles, things of that nature. And we'll explain what they're used for and show you some examples in some real life mobile apps. So guys, let's go ahead and create a new folder in our Swift UI Bootcamp guy. So you can go in here and hit Command Option N to create a new group. Alternatively, you could right click and hit New Group. And we are going to call this Shapes. And I'm gonna keep this in sort of order. So you can drag and drop this folder above that one. And then we can go ahead and hit Command N to create a new file, Swift UI View, and call this Shapes Module, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. So basically guys, a quick overview is that shapes are a fundamental building block for creating and drawing graphical elements within your user interface. So they're used to define and draw various geometric figures and lines, such as circles, rectangles, capsules, things of that nature. So really quickly, before we get started, I wanna show you guys some examples of shapes in real life applications, and then we'll go over how to create some of them and customize them in SwiftUI. So really quickly guys, I have this Threads clone that I have built. We have a course for this on my website as well. Check out the SwiftUI Threads Pro tutorial if you wanna learn how to build this. Uh, that's gonna come after you get through this bootcamp though. But let me show you guys some real life examples of shapes in a real life mobile app. So you guys can see here that each profile image for these threads has a circular shape, right? So that's a clear example of a shape that we're gonna be using in uh, Swift UI. So take an image and give it this like circular clip shape, right? And an example of when you might use something like a rectangle is here. So in the activity section, we have these two buttons up at the top and they are these nice like rounded rectangles, right? So that's another example of a shape. Another example of a shape is here with this following button that you see. And honestly guys, shapes are everywhere in applications and it's very important to understand how to use them, create and customize them as well. So let's go ahead and get started with our application and how we can create some custom shapes. So let's go ahead and delete this text guy and we can start this off by creating a circle. And if you guys just go ahead and uh, open up two parentheses, this is what's known as a constructor. Uh, it's just gonna go ahead and create a circle for you. And it's literally that easy to create a circle or a shape in SwiftUI, guys. So there's a couple pre-built in shapes in the SwiftUI libraries and a circle is one of them. So we can go here and uh, we can say dot fill as a modifier and say like dot purple. And it will change the fill of that shape. So you guys remember we use dot foreground color for uh, our text component. Shapes also have a fill modifier, so you can fill them with a color, but you could also, let's comment this out, dot foreground color, maybe say dot pink. You can also apply a foreground color. So uh, don't really worry too much about the difference between these two things. Um, just know that these are two different options you have for applying a color to a shape. Um, another thing we can do guys is apply a stroke to a shape. So this is pretty cool. Go here and say line width. Oops, uh, we have to do this before. So go on the circle here and say dot stroke and select this line width option and maybe say four. And you guys will notice that that sort of hollows out the circle and gives it this line, this stroke or line width of four pixels, 24 maybe. You guys will notice it gives it that like much thicker uh, stroke line. So that's just another example of how you can customize your shape here, guys. And let's go over how we can change the size of this. So um, some a modifier that almost every single view in SwiftUI has is a frame modifier. So this is how we can adjust the size of our view component, in this case, our circle. And you guys notice here that we have three options with height and alignment, but they're all sort of like grayed out, right? So if you want to select certain ones, just go ahead and start typing out width. So, and then that's gonna add the width component for us. And then you can also start typing out height and that's gonna add the height component for us and hit enter. And that's just a really nice like autocomplete trick to help you out with which parameters you wanna include in the autocomplete. And let's just make it like 100 by 100, right? 
And you guys notice that that changes the size of my circle. I could make it 200 by 200 and it will just make it bigger, right? And then we could delete this uh, stroke guy and we'll notice that um, once our preview finishes rendering out, that it's just gonna be a filled out circle with a frame of 200 by 200 pixels. So that's just a quick example of a shape, guys. Let me go ahead and show you some of the other shapes that we have available to us. So I'm gonna comment out all of this stuff, just like that. Now let's go ahead and create a new shape. We can create a rectangle, which is another shape that SwiftUI gives us for free. And you guys will notice that that fills out the width of the entire screen, right, by default. And if I say like dot fill, dot blue, this will give you guys an idea of how you can like change the background color of your screen, right? But this is really just a rectangle shape. And I could also give this guy a frame. And you guys notice that if I just select frame without typing out width or height, it just gives me this like blank constructor. And then I could go here and add them manually. So I could say width 200, height 100. And that will change the frame of my rectangle as we might expect, right? Um, another really cool modifier that we have guys on shapes is a corner radius. So if I say corner radius and then say maybe 10, you guys will notice that it rounds out the edges of my shape. And that's very similar to what we saw in our threads application, right? where we see that here we have this sort of rounded rectangle. Here, we also have this rounded rectangle here, looking very similar to what we have here, right? And this is a common user interface practice that you'll see in applications. You typically always see rounded edges. It's more visually appealing and less sort of harsh than uh, just a straight up pointy shape like, like we might see here. So that's uh, another cool modifier there, guys. And let me just show you one more that SwiftUI gives us we can uh, have this capsule guy right here. And uh, let's see what that looks like. So uh, really not the most visually appealing thing, but let's go ahead and add some styling to it. We could say dot fill is maybe dot cayenne and frame is width and height of maybe 200 by 64. And you guys will notice this sort of capsule shape, right? And that's probably uh, something that you guys have seen in applications as well. You might see a button that has this sort of shape to it. Um, so that's just a really quick tutorial on shapes and how we can customize them, guys. And that's something that we're going to be using quite often when we build out user interfaces for applications in the future. So a lot of this stuff is just going to be an introduction into these concepts like text and shapes and stuff. The really uh, fun stuff is going to come when we actually start applying these practices when building out mobile applications, guys. So all of this is really just meant to be an introduction as to how this stuff works and how to use SwiftUI in general. As the modules go on, we're going to get more and more practice with this stuff and build out complex user interfaces using all of these basic fundamentals. So get excited for that, guys. In the next one, we are going to be going over how to add images to our app, which is going to be super exciting. So we'll see you there. Peace out.